This is a 2008 Honda Accord four cylinder. We're going to be replacing the serpentine belt. It's also known as the accessory belt on your uh, car. Um, the mileage on this car is about 117. This is part of the 100K maintenance uh, that you should do. If you don't feel comfortable with this, uh, go ahead and take it to a dealership or a local um, uh, place that you trust. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to replace. They usually charge anywhere from 60 to to $100 depending on the shop you bring it to. This belt, I believe, was about $20 on Amazon that I've purchased, and you can purchase these locally as well. Uh, it's up to you. I usually like to use OEM parts for my uh, belt accessories. Um, a couple places that we're going to be um, looking at, um, you're going to be putting your wrench and your cheater bar right here um, to pull back to loosen up the entire system. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, or you can purchase one of these um, bars and um, one of these tools. Um, I'll show you the part number here in a bit. We're actually going to be using the smaller end. There's a blue cap that goes on here that I removed, um, but it looks like this is Honda part uh, 1419 2016. So a tip that you may want to uh, do to get to the bottom portion of this in case you have to reroute um, is to put your car on some ramps. So as you put them on ramps, it may make it a little bit easier to get down to the accessory belt, um, which is gonna be um, right here. Um, so this belt right here, um, might be able to uh, move around and navigate and weave this in a little bit easier. So I'm doing this one-handed but we're going to be using the smaller side tip right here and as you take a look there's going to be that one nut that you're going to be placing this on and this is going to be releasing the tension and I'll show you right here just what the action looks like but as you're gonna be pulling back that's gonna be pulling towards you that's gonna loosen up the belt so we're gonna be replacing this and I showed you a little bit earlier where to put um, the wrench so you notice right here it you can't loosen it up but once you pull down on this and this is as far as it goes you're gonna see this loosen up quite a bit and you're gonna work out this belt um, off as much as you can and then um, you're gonna have to readjust and this is where you're gonna do a lot of finagling and then once you release that out you're gonna take out um, the um, wrench and then we're gonna work off of that so this belt right here as you notice is the existing belt I had to go under the car and actually loop it around uh, one of those pulleys this is the original belt and this is the new bando belt. You notice the grooves on here are a little bit um, deeper. This belt's gonna work fine. Um, I checked on the website, a um, little bit different. Uh, the car has close to 117 and I'm going to feed um, this portion all the way down and then we're gonna take a look at this diagram over here. And what my main goal is to loop this around these two portions and then kind of work my way in. So it's just gonna be a lot of finagling. And then Okay, so we're gonna feed uh, this belt portion in, and our main goal is to loop it around um, this portion right here, and we're gonna feed this in, and I'm gonna initially um, feed it in by putting it in between these right here, and my main goal is to try to get um, a bulk of it down there around this pulley down here, and we're gonna work our way around and I'm gonna start off from the bottom. All right, so um, I'm just working with one hand, but to get this back in, uh, we kind of install things in reverse order. You did have to go in the bottom to get um, this portion of the belt looped around. I started off with looping the belt around this portion and then looping around here. Uh, once you work um, everything over, the toughest part is being able to get leverage to get it over um, this final part. So I've seen some videos where they've kind of done the last part on this portion, um, which is this part of the diagram right here. Um, so what I ended up doing is um, to get enough leverage, I had to um, basically push um, this out more and then have another person hold it. 
or you can put it right here just ever so slightly to get, gain enough leverage to pull um, pull this back um, to get to this portion but it's very snug fit and I had to push um, a lot of this over um, but we ended up managing it to get on when I relook at this I would probably reroute around number five since it's a smooth area and do that last So it looks like the install went well, there's no noise, so hopefully this will be another um, good belt for about another 100k.